In 2021, the Ole Miss Rebels have been putting teams on notice. Off speed gets Kennedy. How about this inning for Morgan? This one deep to center, and that's gone! Diedrich, one of the best weekends an Ole Miss pitcher has ever had, matches the Rebel record for most Ks in a single game with 15 of them here. Payoff. Line. Blake throw to first. Ole Miss with a statement. Clinches the sweep. Picked to finish last in the SEC, every day is a chance to show the entire country just how good they can be. COVID-19 put an early end to the 2020 season. In that time, Ole Miss would turn the page to a new chapter, hiring head coach Jamie Traxel. She brings in 18 years of coaching experience and an appearance in the Women's College World Series with Minnesota in 2019. The decision to leave her home state wasn't easy. Left home essentially, leaving the Midwest, and um, you know I'm excited about the opportunity and everything that I'd heard from Katie from the previous years, um, from the administration, um, has far exceeded even just what I knew then. Um, I'm proud to be part of Ole Miss and I'm, I'm excited to prove them right yeah, for believing in me and, and offering me this position so we can go out there and continue to elevate this program uh, and hopefully to a place that it hasn't been, which is Oklahoma City. Joining Traxel in Oxford is volunteer assistant Kara Shutt, a former All-American at Elon, pitching coach Riker Chasen, a former manager at LSU, and pitcher for Team USA's men's fast pitch team, and Katie Rekovich browder who spent three seasons in Oxford previously. It didn't take me long to decide to come back with Jamie. You know, I love Ole Miss. I love the atmosphere. I love Oxford, everything that it presents. I say this is a place that I grew up personally and professionally the first time I was here. Got my first opportunity at Minnesota to really lead the offense, and it didn't take me 30 seconds to decide to come back. Talked to Katie a while, talked to some people who are uh, former friends of mine who have worked for her formerly, and they all really said the same thing. They're like, Jamie cares about you as a person. I got to talk to Katie for a little bit, and she, since she had been here before, she just she sold me on Ole Miss. And anytime you can start in the Power Five conference, it's it's really good for your resume. And I knew I was going to come in and learn from some of the best coaches in the conference. They're it people and they're it coaches. They just are. They're teachers. They're passionate. They're energy. Uh, they care beyond uh, who you are as a softball player. I think that's our entire staff. And I've, I work with Katie for a couple years now, and. Um, you know, having the opportunity to come to Ole Miss, it didn't take me 30 seconds to, to call her and I'm really proud and excited to be on this journey together. Right off the bat, we knew how much she cared and how much she was willing to invest, especially personally. Every day is an investment day into your, into your progress, into your success, in your development. Master your technique. Develop your craft, master your technique. This is Savannah's sixth inning, best inning. You get her pumped up, you get her jacked up, and everyone make sure we do her job to finish a great outing for her. Yes! Good job! Like, all I knew was she was the coach at Minnesota, and one of my best friends that I played child ball with was committed to Minnesota, so like, all I had was what she told me, like, us playing together, like, oh, she's a great coach, great defensive coach. I knew she was really big on defense, so I was excited to come in and get some work in and see how she works with defense. As the saying goes, defense wins championships. Part of building that championship pedigree is training in unorthodox ways. For Coach Traxel, a nine-time national champion racquetball player, there was a way to intermingle the sport with softball. Go! Good, nothing at the ground, Rebs! It's always been part of practice, whether it's no gloves, gloves, I'm hitting or not. From when I was a young coach at North Dakota State, it's a kind of a friendly way of me being able to put some balls that have some exit speed on them, you know, in a little bit safer manner. Yeah, I kind of have a love-hate with the tennis balls because for me, I always kind of like stab at it like this, so it just bounces out, but I've grown to love it, and it's just reaction time, and it's helped me in the games. Like, I have individuals before game days, and I do tennis ball ground balls. But it's just fun, like it's, it's a fun way to compete and it, it really gets like us going before a game. She's not even trying to hit it hard, she just does, but she's like, yeah, I think it's like something like 300 miles an hour and we we're all like, you want to show us? And she was like, May maybe later, I can't hurt my arm. She's just a competitor all the time, you know, whether she's hitting tennis balls, whether she's hitting ground balls or, or anything, she just, she goes 
at a pace and you have to be able to keep up with her. I was like the girl and remember the Titans and I, it's how I learned defense. I would tape Sports Center back in the day and tape and I would watch things in slow motion and uh, I would see, you know, what angle were they taking, what were their body doing, and that's kind of how I learned about defense. And so um, it's always been in me. I always wanted to coach. And you know, I went to college, you're like, what do you want to do? I was like, well, I want to coach. I'm like, well, you need a degree. I was like, okay, but I want to coach. So whatever's going to help me get there. And um, it's just always been in my mindset and kind of my track. She loves relationships with the team, and I think that that's what um, players have really enjoyed about her and we know it takes a process and we know that it's going to take time But our ultimate goal is to finish at the World Series I've just lived it where if you put the right people in the right place at the right time You can do anything and there's no reason that we can't win a national championship here Excited to accomplish some more first here as we build off the past successes and traditions of this program and lead it to a place that it's never been What is up, Rebel Nation? It is Thursday, the week, the, oh, not the weekend, the day before the Georgia series. I got Caden, one of the best managers in the SEC in the entire country. We're in the indoor today, ready to hit some bombs, come out this weekend, and you guys get a special surprise from a couple of your favorite revs for our game series this weekend. Uh, you know, no hard feelings, but no, we're, on, hard feelings. <laughs> we're on different teams right now. <laughs> Still using the switch. Vibes. There are two teams and they're made up of four players. And what you're trying to do is ink the most in the arena of what color you have. Let's go! Blue! Blue. Blue. Okay. Uh, so us three versus, versus, Gabby. Gabby. versus Gabby. We're taking down no Gabby to today. Gabby's literally the best platoon player. I'm really not. Yes, she is. Don't let her lie to you. We got the gas mask. And then I have the rider jacket, all leather jacket. And then I got the J's. I think I'm the only paint roller in this group, so here's what it looks like. <laughs> and then you just run. Oh. Gabby's on a rule. Gabby just killed me. No. <laughs> Gabby. Let's see. Three against one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> By 10%. They want to talk all this smack, but. I have to get mentally prepared in about three seconds. Green. Oh. 2v2. Okay, that's good. That's a good last one. Bow. Bow. <laughs> I'm killing left and right. Michaela. Yeah, that was savage. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Michaela, is that you? Leave me alone. <laughs> Gabby killed me, of course. Oh, we're making a little yep. bit of a comeback. We're making a little bit of a comeback. It's not looking good for pink right now. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Get close up on this. Look at me and Tate. Me and Tate. <laughs> fit check. Fit check. Fit check. Look at this. Tate. It was really fun. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you soon, and we'll probably have a new game or a new trend. Yep. Hotty toddy. Go, Rebs. Keep splatting on. Keep splat on. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, Rebs! Go, guys! Good, find your balance! Good rhythm in and through the ball! The second home SEC series of the season saw the power-hitting Georgia Bulldogs stroll into town. The Rebels would hope to find a sweet spot in slowing down that vaunted offense with balance and rhythm on defense. You know, we're, they're a team that um, power is part of their offense and, and really hitting, hitting the ball out of the park. And so one of our focuses is obviously to try to keep the ball um, in the field of play and to defend, you know, what we can. Trust what we know, fall to our training, stay together, win one. It's how we start and how we finish. Don't think for one second you're not good enough. All in, all day, whatever it is, whatever it takes. Let's go, Rebs. It's been so far so good. For Anna Borgen, the senior from Heath, Texas, standing at five foot nine, she is having a remarkable senior campaign. The first two innings would feature clean softball for both teams on defense. Best pitchers during that time. Anna Borgen gets out of the inning without any damage being done. Here's the delivery from Mary Wilson Avan. Inside corner called strike three to get out of the inning. Chance for two for Ole Miss. Smith over to Behringer, the relay to first, not in time. Close play. 
it wouldn't be until the third inning where the Bulldogs would strike first, but the Rebel defense would shut the door quickly. Lead runners Mosley on second, and Borgen strikes out Chambly for the second time this game. That's a huge strikeout for Anna Borgen. Anna, way to go. That big pitches and big moments. That a girl. Hey, we'll take singles all day against that team. We always talk about winning the two-out battle and kind of trying to minimize how many runs or how many runners are on when there's two outs. Looking to drop this one down, and that'll be the first hit of the ball game for Ole Miss. Behringer going to the left side, it escapes the shortstop, Sykes. For her to get on and then for Blaze to get on behind her to just set the table for um, Paige, who's been doing a great job for us all year, was a big deal. They're doing their job, their job's to get on base, so our RBI producers can do their job and get them in. That was an absolute blast from Paige Smith. Figuring out SEC on the fly. She sent that one flying over the left field wall. Yes, Paige! 3-1 Ole Miss here in the home half of the third. What a swing of the stick from Paige Smith. Yeah, I think that ball was hit as high as it was far and just an amazing job. I never try to hit them when I'm trying to score. Like, once someone scores, you want to come back and score, be the first one to score. So that's always in my head, just get the runner across no matter what. Paige is a really big time player. Uh, she steps up in big moments for us and that's something that she's continued to do for us all season. She loves the spotlight and even though she's only a sophomore, um, she always comes through when we need her to. She's someone that when she's at the plate, like we just know that we have a chance and she can change the game in one swing. With a counterpunch successfully landed, the Rebels would keep it rolling on defense, getting two quick outs. Armistead's going to lay down a bunt. Gillespie down to first. Yeah! In time for the out here, number two here in the inning. There are not many catchers in the country that can do that. There's not many catchers in the country that can do that. Yes, Adam! Yes, Adam! Although all the momentum was on the side of the Rebels, Georgia would take advantage of a few defensive mistakes. Upstairs, bases loaded for Georgia. Grounded back into the circle. Borgen sails it to first. And Georgia is going to tie this game up on the throwing error from Anna Borgen. That's what it comes down to is who makes the first mistake? And the inning was extended, and Mosley continues to tack on runs. 4-3 Georgia. That whole game, uh, we even talked about it um, later. We said we never lost um, We never lost control of the game. We were seeing the ball well. Uh, we had good communication. We were together. We felt very unified as a group, and we knew that we were still in control of the game no matter what. She's a great fielding pitcher, and she was able to refocus and reattack and get out of that situation, which could have been a difference of that game, too, had she not been able to do that. The Rebels would respond by scoring a run in the bottom of the fifth. Junior pitcher Savannah Diedrich would right the ship holding the Bulldogs to three scoreless innings, setting up the Rebels with a chance to win it. Better as you go. Yes, Savannah. Right, right where we want to be, yeah. right here. Right where we want to be. Everybody just put everything you got into the team. All your job is just to do right here. Get on base, pass the back Let's go. Let's win it. On. Win one. Win one. Let's go, Rebs. Yes, Rebs. She walks for the second time this game. She's reached all four times she's stepped to the plate. So if you can get your lead off on with no outs, uh, your chances of scoring definitely increase, and, and especially in a situation like that. One down, Gillespie at the plate now. He's also 0 for 3 in this game. Ball gets behind Bordeaux, and Keister moves up in the scoring position. First thing here in the seventh. Yeah, it looked like a rise ball up and out of the zone and just gets away from Bordeaux allowing Keister to move into second base, putting a runner now in scoring position for Autumn Gillespie. Gillespie a rocket to right. This game is over. Autumn Gillespie calls game, and the Rebels take game one against Georgia. I was just looking to put the ball uh, hard in the opposite way, and it happened to go over the fence. She was selective at the plate. She waited on a good pitch to hit. She worked the count. She got to a 3-2 count, um, and she still put her A swing on. You guys, what a great win. What a great team day. We don't ask you to be perfect. We just ask that you show up and you try. We got your back, Anna. We've been great. Savannah, way to come in there and just do your job. Like, 
us. Enjoy this. We earned it. Three attack. Don't be satisfied with it. Great team win. Great team win. In game two, spring showers would not bloom summer flowers for the Rebels. After grabbing an early lead, Georgia would respond by adding three runs of their own in the fourth inning and never looking back. We just said, you know, when you're not seeing the ball well and they threw a pitcher in there that we weren't as familiar with and when you're not seeing the ball well, you can't make mistakes on the bases. And, um, you know, we addressed those mistakes. We said we'll correct them tomorrow. Uh, we learn from them and we'll move on. And we knew we were going to come out in game three and be competitive because it's a rubber match. So. We got ourselves in good position and just, you know, hitting so much about timely hitting. And um, But we had the opportunities and we're just probably one hit away from from really kind of changing the feel of that game. And then they came up with that one swing and that was the difference was probably the one extra base hit when people were in scoring position was the difference of that game. With the rubber match unfolding on Sunday, the Rebels planned to strike early. We started the same kid three days in a row with Anna being on the mound and it was important to give her a lead early just facing a powerful offense like Georgia and you know to give her a lead to go out there and be able to throw with a little bit of um, just relief behind her. Should be exciting here today. Anna Borgen has made the start in each of the first two games for Ole Miss and she will get the ball again here on Sunday. Comes in with some gas here to strike out Kuma. What a big out from Anna Borgen. While the Rebels kept their trust in Borgen, Georgia would rely on a new pitcher for game three. Um, okay. They're throwing Britton Rogers, who has four innings on the year, tries to throw up spin, so hunt your zone. Everybody got it? Uh, we know that she hadn't had a ton of innings, but again, it's Georgia. They're a ranked opponent. We know that they're going to have, uh, you know, a good pitching staff. So um, it was just wait until you get a strike um, and then just try to compete in the box. We always just try to have competitive at bats. One, two. A bloop shot into right field is going to be problematic for Georgia. No, Behringer held up at third. Abby, let's go. Do your thing right here. Look for a pitch to score the run. With Abby Latham coming to the plate. Slices one out into center field. Kearney's going to get underneath it. Behringer's going to tag up. Here comes the throw. Won't be close. Ole Miss one. Georgia, nothing. Four pitch walk issued to Jessica Puck. Lauren Mathis is going to come into the game for Georgia. And she wears a pitch. And that'll bring home a run. There will be another pitching change here in the inning as Mary Wilson Avant will take over for Mathis. Go, go, go! go. Yeah. Yeah. Ball gets behind the catcher, Bordeaux, and Ole Miss takes a 3-0 lead. But a few defensive errors did not discourage the Bulldog bats. And is playing in, so they want to try and cut off the run at first base. This one's going to get over the shortstop alley and drive in the first run of the game for Georgia. Four pitch walk given up to the best batting average on the Georgia roster as Fincher takes first to load up the bases. Wow, big opportunity coming for Jaden Fields. I feel like I start off every mound visit, I walk out there and I say, You good? <laughs> and that's every one of them. If you ask them, like, you good? You good? Okay, we're good. Um, and just calm down. And I, I, I try to get her most of the time to embrace the moment. He even told me, he was like, you know what? Like, you want this moment. You want to be in this moment. And you want to have the excitement. And, oh, like, they're threatening. But that doesn't matter. You can still shut them down. One, two now. Yeah! Yes, Anna! Strikeout number seven from Borgen. A roundabout way of doing so, Missy, but strikes out the side. It's just a great feeling to know that I put my foot down and I said, yeah, you might have gotten runners on, but you're not going to take it from me and you're not going to be better than me in this moment that really matters. It's just a gutsy performance and it's a really big mature learning moment for her. You know, to trust other pitches, she doesn't just have to rely on one. She has a full arsenal of pitches and kudos to, you know, Riker for figuring that out early in the game and, and Anna threw in every game in that series. So for her to come with a completely different look completely changed the game for us. It's not about the strikeout. It's when she executes a pitch that she's asked to execute, it, she gets excited about it and she it's raw emotion. I think it's great and I don't really realize it till I see the pictures after. I'm like, dang, she was really in the air with a fist bump. She's earned her opportunities and she's in a really good space right now of celebrating her successes, throwing her energy into 
everybody else and uh, she gives all of us a sense of confidence and belief when she's on the mound that we have a chance to win that game. We talk about having two out of the three, you know, pitching and defense, pitching and hitting, defense and hitting. I feel like a lot of times you felt like there was a glimpse of like we were three for three. Like we played great defense, we hit the ball and we pitched really well. So um, if you can do that, you're for sure going to win a lot of games. For the dogs, Borgen trying to shut the door. Pitch comes inside. First base umpire says it's a swinging strike. And that's the third and final out. This is as strange of an ending I've ever seen on the softball field, but long story short, Ole Miss three, Georgia two, and the Rebels come away with a series victory. Guys, good win. No, good win. Yay. Oh, where's our win song? Yes. Good job. Where's Anna? Anna, what? What a great performance, Anna. Especially when they know that they know what we're gonna throw, they know how they're gonna attack. I thought Riker did a phenomenal job. Yep. If something doesn't feel good about it, man, let it go. It is about the W's on the board. It's about B plus one, plus two. Just doesn't matter. We're gonna continue to build on all the progress that we're making in the journey that we're on. Great series win. Great team victories. We earned it. We were in the series. So enjoy. Great to come out and get a, a series win against a ranked opponent. Um, we had full faith in Anna the whole way through, and all our pitches were ready. Our defense locked down. It was a really good team win. No, no. That's my brother! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Brother squad, brother oh. squad. You see it? We're Tate. 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 Brothers. Paige loves the camera. Paige loves the camera. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Period. Real big swole. It was, it was a lot of fun. Glad that my team had my back with some great defense, but. It's a good series. It's good to win against a ranked opponent. Real good, you know. It's good to come off a weekend, uh, you know, at Arkansas. Didn't go our way, but this weekend went our way. So stay tuned the rest of the year. We're up to something real special here, and we got a real good glimpse of it this weekend. Rhonda, we did it for Rhonda. Rhonda Rousey. We did it for Rhonda. No. Rhonda Rousey herself. <laughs>